guys to make easy YouTube channel. This is the third video of numeric pattern printing in QBasic and in this video I will gonna explain you about this one pattern printing program with dry run in the very easiest way. In my previous two videos I explained you about numeric pattern printing. I think four types. You can watch those videos to understand that. Okay in the next video I will explain you this pattern printing program also in easiest way. So look at this pattern. To print pattern we have to use looping concept and I am going to use for loop. So how many times it is printed first? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So we have to run for loop 5 times. Okay fine. First time what we are printing? We are printing 1. So we can just make one variable like a and we can store 1 inside that and we can print the value of a it will be printed in the next time we are printing 1 2 that is 12 to get 12 by using this one what we can do is we can use this formula a equals to a into 10 plus i this is i this i is loop variable i will explain this a into 10 means a value is 1 into 10 means 10 plus i if I keep here value of i as 2, then a into 10 is 1 into 10, 10 plus 2 is 12. I will get 12. Now I will keep this as 3. Then 12 into 10 is 120 plus 3 is 123. Yeah, I can get the value. So let me write here i and let me write the program. First of all, cls equals to 1. Fine. Then for loop for i equals to 2 because first time here if i keep here value as 2 then i will get 12 so what i am doing here in the loop is i am starting from 2 2 6 why 6 2 3 4 5 6 5 times and we are printing here 5 times so starting from 2 up to 6 now i want to print the value of a print a 1 will be printed after printing a equals to a into 10 plus i a into 10 that means 1 into 10 10 plus i means i value will be first time 2 so 12 then after that i will write here next i and end this is done let me run the program and let me show you the output and then i will show you dry run step by step process look 1 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 done so let me copy this program and let me show you the dry run here. Okay, just I will remove this pattern. Fine. So let me show you dry run. CLS it will clear the data of the output screen and initially we are keeping value of a as one. So a equals to one. Fine. Now for i equals to two to six, this loop will run five times. Value starting from two to six. Okay. Initially value of i will be two. So print a. This is the output screen for now. Print A means 1 will be printed in the output screen. Then after that, A equals to A into 10 plus I. So let me write here. Okay, let me write here. Value of A is 1. So A into 10 plus I, value of I is 2. So 1 into 10 plus 2 is 12. We got the value 12 in A. Next I means value of I will be incremented by 1. Initially value is 2, now it will be 3. And after next i it will go to the for loop again and check the condition whether i equals to 3 belongs to range of 2 to 6 yes condition is true when it is true it will print again this 3 is in the range of 2 to 6 so it will print a now value of a is what you can see here value of a is 12 so next time 12 will be printed in the output screen now again after printing a equals to a into 10 plus i so a value is already 12 into 10 plus i i value is 3 3 so 12 into 10 is 120 plus 3 is 123 we got the value 123 here in the a then next i next i means i value will be incremented by 1 so i value will be 4 when you come to this line then control will go to the for loop again and check the condition whether i equals to 4 in the range of 2 to 6 yes condition is true when condition is true it will print again print a a is 123 get this so 123 will be printed here 
after printing we can see a equals to a into 10 plus i again so a value is already here we have 123 into 10 123 into 10 plus i plus i means value of i is 4 so 123 into 10 is 1230 plus 4 is 1234 then we got 1234 next time means i value will be 5 and it will go to the loop again i equals to 5 in the range condition true then print a a is 1 2 3 4 this is again printed after printing a equals to a into 10 plus i again calculation 1 2 3 4 is already here in a into 10 plus i means we have value 5 1 2 3 4 into 10 1 2 3 4 2 3 4 0 plus 5 is 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 will be here you can do calculation and after that next i next i means a i value will be incremented by 1 that will be 6 and it will go to the for loop and check 2 to 6 and we have value 6 condition true then print a value of a is 1 2 3 4 5 printed then after that again calculation a into 10 plus i so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 into 10 plus value of i is 6 so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 then next i next i means value of i will be incremented by 1 7 and it will go to the loop i equals to 7 is in the range 2 to 6 only not 7 so condition is false when this loop is false it will go just after the next i line that is end and our program will end and we got the result 1 2 3 4 5 is printed here this is how it works hope you understand this video now let me check with another one that is i want to print 6 6 6 6 6 6 i have made some changes here okay not this one control chat this is our pattern printing program i want to print 1 2 3 4 5 6 also so what i can do here is we are printing here how many times 1 2 3 4 5 6 times so i will just change the range from 2 to 7 and it will give the same result what we want look 1 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 and if you want to print pattern like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 also you can just change the range here up to 8 starting from 2 to 8 just print this pattern yes it is printed so hope you understand this video if you understand please click on the like button click on the subscribe button and if you have any confusion just comment below thank you for watching have a great day